Hello and welcome to another Bearded Geek toy review. In today's video, the votes have been counted and now we review the winner. So here we have our winner of our poll. In the last video, if you think you remember, I said I was putting a poll up on Twitter and giving you four options of what the next video would be. And by a landslide, uh, the fifth Doctor and TARDIS set from The Visitation with the latest B&M exclusive won by a very, very comfortable margin. So let's get into the review. So here's the latest B&M exclusive TARDIS set, which is the Fifth Doctor and TARDIS from The Visitation. This was released in mid-October and in some instances it's only just hitting some B&M stores at the moment. Certainly in my local B&M store, they actually haven't had stock or put the stock out on shelves yet because they still have the Third Doctor and the Second Doctor TARDISes taking up the shelf space so do hunt around if you're able to during these lockdown conditions and tier three and tier two um covid conditions if you're able to b&m stores are open um due to um being classed as an essential store so um you know if you're in there getting some food stuffs and all the rest of it have a quick look on the toy aisle and you may be surprised to find one of these so again, let's have a look at the packaging. Uh, standard packaging as usual uh, with the new Doctor Who logo and obviously a description of what it is at the side. A little glimpse of the actual product on there with um, opening doors because obviously these are no longer electronic FX TARDISes. And then we have a description on the back of the box which gives you a overview of the story which was broadcast in 1982 during season 19 which was Peter Davison's first season as the Doctor. Uh, the story The Visitation was written by Eric Sayward and uh, certainly is one of my favourites from that season along with Kinder and Earthshock. Uh, I really enjoyed The Visitation and obviously a bit of a spoiler here if you've not seen it how they go back uh, to the Great Fire of London and obviously discover that uh, it was actually partly the Doctor's fault for causing the Great Fire. Uh, but there is a story reason behind that. So if you do check it out, it's on DVD and Blu-ray and uh, other means. Stream it on BritBox. It is a really, really good story and does showcase the Fifth Doctor and his current TARDIS crew um, in that story, which is Adric. Tegan and Nissa. So let's open the box and get a closer look at the product. So as with previous releases, uh, the TARDIS inner packaging does have a diorama of the forest from the story where the TARDIS lands in the 17th century. And again, they're using this sticky tape um, instead of the plastic tape to keep the TARDIS doors in place. And I had seen some reports where if you're not very careful, if you do rip this sticky tape off, it sometimes does take the paint display with it. So we're gonna be very, very careful when we take this out of the packaging. And again, it comes with a variant Fifth Doctor figure. Now this figure with the hatted Fifth Doctor was only previously released in a Forbidden Planet exclusive with a Anthony Ainley Master um, quite a few years ago when Forbidden Planet had the classic series license. Um, so this is a welcome re-release. So if you weren't able to get that figure, because as I understand it, it goes for quite a lot of money on the secondary market, such as eBay, then this is a perfect opportunity to pick up this particular variant. And I really do like the Fifth Doctor 
in his cricket attire and I thought he suited the Panama hat really, really well. So let's slowly get this TARDIS set and the figure out of the packaging and have a closer look. So as with all these TARDIS releases, it does come with screws in the bottom to keep the TARDIS in place. And unfortunately, a sonic screwdriver doesn't do the trick. So we will have to use a standard screwdriver to get this out of the packaging. So here's the set out of its packaging. So as you can see, here we've got the fifth Doctor figure. And let's take a closer look. A very good likeness of Peter Davison as he appeared back in 1982, um, wearing the stick of celery as usual. And like I say, this is the hatted Panama variant version. Again, it's a standard figure. It doesn't come with the um, sonic screwdriver like the uh, previous release of this figure did, but then most of these B&M exclusives don't come with the sonic screwdriver. And it's still a great figure to have in your collection. So here's the TARDIS in its more resplendent blue. Now we have had a previous Fifth Doctor TARDIS, which was released as a Caves of Androzani set, which was again in this same kind of colour and livery, but um, very much had a lot of muddy wash uh, paint job uh, around the bottom of the TARDIS itself. So um, it's nice to have a clean version, which is obviously more accurate to season 19 and season 20. Okay, so we'll just... Uh, Pivot it round, okay, as you see, it really is a good sculpt of the accurate TARDIS. And again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, uh, certainly the War Games Second Doctor TARDIS set, um, this is the old speaker and the old battery compartment that used to be in the TARDIS sets when they were electronic FX versions and had sound effects and a light up. Uh, lantern at the top. And as standard, it does come with the opening doors feature. So let's just where that door clicks in place. And then that door can also be. And again, there's a button down here to click your right side door back into place. So here's a comparison of the previous TARDI sets that are from the 1980s part of the show and also um, a comparison to the previously released hatted figure uh, as released by Forbidden Planet. So as you can see, um, that's this one on the right. It came with a sonic screwdriver accessory. Not much difference. There does seem to be a lighter paint job on uh, the B&M cricket jumper there and also he seems to have a, a bit of a darker wash on the Panama hat but besides that there's really not much difference between the two figures in the paint jobs they look more or less identical uh, so let's just move those out of the way and then we've got obviously the tardy sets that we've had recently from the 80s so this is the current one that we're reviewing the B&M Fifth Doctor Visitation Exclusive. This was the previous B&M Fifth Doctor Caves of Androzani version. And as you see, it's quite a bit of a, a muddy wash over lots of the signs and along the bottom, um, where it was obviously signified that it had landed in mud on Androzani Minor. And then on the right-hand side, here we have the Season 26 uh, battlefield version from the Seventh Doctor era where it was a lighter blue and obviously this is the electronic FX version which unfortunately I can't get working at the moment because it seems to be the screw thread on the back of the TARDIS there has absolutely been really damaged. Uh, I don't know whether that happened last time I took out the batteries but I can't seem to get it open, which is a bit of a shame because I wanted to obviously demonstrate that feature for you. Um, but hopefully if I try and get a more adaptive screwdriver, I should be able to then um, put that in a different video.
So there you have it. That's the latest TARDIS set from B&M. Retails at $19.99. And like I said, you should be able to find it in most B&M stores. If they haven't got it on display, chances are they've probably got it in the back and they've just not put it out yet. But obviously, as Christmas looms nearer and nearer, this is the perfect Christmas gift for the Doctor Who collector if they haven't got a fifth Doctor TARDIS in their collection. And it comes with a great variant fifth Doctor figure as well. So highly recommended. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, please leave a like. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification button to let you know whenever we load up a new video. In our next video, we're going to review the runner-up to the poll, which is the NECA Ultimate Michael Myers Halloween figure. Stay tuned for that. See you soon. Bye. So, as with other releases, again, this uh, comes with a diorama in the background from... Oh, sorry, there. <laughs> nearly knocked it over. Oh, that's an outtake for the end.